Super Indie Karts is a game that has somehow managed to elude my attention for quite some time. This is a game that I thought just came out. As a matter of fact, I thought it was another Carter game that I'm waiting for that uh, I just insta bought it. I didn't even look at what it was. I was like, oh, people are talking about it. It must be a game I'm waiting for. Boom, bought. Because there's not a lot of like genuine kart racers that really kind of give you that that Sonic All-Stars racing or it's obviously, obviously, obviously Super Mario Kart level of feel. There's not there's not a lot of them out there. Uh, so coming across this one, I was just like, whoa, how did I miss this? It is, it is straight up a, uh, a, a Super Mario Kart original, SNES version Mario Kart uh, style of game. The reason update and the reason why people are talking about it now and the reason why or more now and the reason why it came across my desk and got my attention was because there was an update that just came out called Ultra, an Ultra Kart update uh, that added another uh, another cup race, another circuit, a uh, number of races that were more in more like the N64, kind of like evolving the game as you go through the different uh, go through the different cups. Which I think is kind of cool. There's a ton of like, st you know, standard flat track stuff, which we're going to look at in just a second here. There's a ton of standard flat track stuff, uh, but adding these new races is great because it just adds more flexibility and more, just basically more variety to the game. So we're going to go ahead and get into the game to start here. This is the main menu. There's a couple of weird little polish things that I noticed that, you know, like the sound levels are a bit weird sometimes. Like there's like a V8 sound whenever you start the cart, right? You start the race, which is kind of strange. Uh, the menus are like super just out of control. Like when you switch, boom, like they just zoom way in too much it just feels like it's way too much but there's a lot of really cool stuff first off yes it has single as a split screen not online yet but he is i just checked the forums he is talking as as uh, about it as as early as uh, as recent as july 5th or so talking about doing uh, uh online multiplayer so so that is something that uh is coming according to the developer so it does have vertical and horizontal split screen uh single race battle arena is currently disabled uh, God, there's something that I have that menu issue again. Right, right, right. There it goes. Okay, it keeps on going down for some reason. Uh, yeah, Battle Arena is temporarily closed. Uh, take a quick look at the settings here. This is pretty important. Also, I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, if I go to settings here, uh, graphics, 3D walls can be on or off. I'm going to show you both. Uh, you probably already know what it is. One is a 3D wall, and the other one is the, the old school 2D style. Uh, from like, you know, from like the, the, the SNES version of, uh, Mario Kart. Uh, personally, I actually found playing with 3D walls disabled, uh, reduced on-screen clutter because there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not just a flat piece that's been stretched out. Like there's actually a lot of 3D elements. Uh, and I found that personally, because I come here with the mindset I'm playing Super Mario, uh, Super Mario Kart 1, uh, I, I like it. I like having them off, but I will show you both. There is a TV filter. I turned it on for like two seconds and it did all this and I was just like, no, it's not happening. Uh, resolution, full screen, all that stuff. All this stuff is pretty obvious. So everybody knows that it is. Audio controls, it's all there. Uh, controller, uh, dead zone. That's actually what I want to show you. Controller, controller, over here. controls. This I thought was pretty interesting. My first start of the game was actually set to keyboard. And I was like, what the hell? Z is like Z to go or whatever. And I was like, Z to start. And I was like, oh God, is this like uh, GameCube controller at 864 uh, controller? Just give me a break. Uh, no, actually, there, this is uh, just keyboard controls. It also has PlayStation controls. It also has Forge TV controls. It also has the SNES controls. It also has Apple iOS controls. It also has the OUYA controls. <laughs> So they basically squeeze everything in here, uh, just in case, whatever it is you want. And also you could go uh, to the uh, uh, diamond button map style if you want, which is, I don't know why anyone would do that. This is the more standard stuff uh, and back and forth. So there you go. So we'll close that. We'll go ahead and go back here. And what we're going to do is, oh God, what should we start? Let's just do, let's just do, uh, let's do a single race. Let's do a single race. And then uh, we'll do 150 CC, of course, of course. I'll probably get my ass kicked. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, now. One thing that I have not mentioned uh, is like uh, like other kart racers, specifically like uh, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed, uh, you have the ability to uh, play as various characters from other games. That being said, you also bring in levels designed, maps designed based off of those games, inspired by those games. So you see Whispering Willows, you see Cannibalt, you see A Fist of Awesome, you come over here, you see Power Dart 2000, Cross Code, uh, Read Only Memories, and Tesla Grad. Uh, you also have Duck Game, Freedom Planets, uh, 
that uh, Rumbo, <laughs> and I believe that's pretty much it. Oh, Star Mazes, a Star Maze and Ink, and then there's actually one more Nightmare Tower. There's actually a couple more actually. Uh, you'll see that when we choose we choose the actual card. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go. We'll show you. Let's just show you the uh, the uh, Mario Circuit One, right? Like the Mario Circuit One uh, equivalent, which is basically this. Yeah, the first track. Here's all the characters I actually have. I have a bunch that are not unlocked yet. Probably not even put in the game yet. Who knows? Uh, some of them have variations. Let me see. Let me see if I can find one that has a variation here. I think perhaps maybe uh, Rumbo, Orange Val. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, so they don't all have um, variations, uh, but some of them do. And you can just look like, like Pip. I was like, oh, surely there's gonna be more, more than one uh, uh, a color cube. Right? And I clicked on it, it's like, ready to go. It's like, oh, never mind, it's just the red one. Uh, let's see, Guacamole is here. Or, sorry, Guaca <laughs> Guacamole is here. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's just uh, Cannibal. I think I played Cannibal, and I think I played uh, maybe Testagrad. Uh, no, no, not Testagrad. Um, oh, dear, I don't know. I don't remember. Is she, uh, baby Fist of Boss? I don't know. Freedom Plan. I think I put like two minutes, literally put like two or three minutes into Freedom Plan. Um, anyways. Yeah, it's kind of cool, right? But at the same time, these are all characters from games that that people played probably back in 2004, 2015, which is probably one of the reasons why I haven't played actually a number of them, because during that time I was working full time for Zam, wasn't really playing indie games nonstop every single day. So uh, so I'm a little bummed. I come through here and it's like, wow, man, I don't know. I mean, I know I'm familiar with the games and the names and everything, but I'm not familiar necessarily with uh, the actual characters themselves. But that being said, I don't really see feel any difference between the different characters when i race as them like you know it's, i don't really feel like when i pick a large character i don't feel like oh man this guy's super heavy this guy's got a good top speed and he doesn't handle quite that uh, quite as well you hear that sound come on man that's not a cart <laughs> all right so we're playing right now with the walls on is there a boost oh, clearly there is because they all got one. Oh, a couple totems here lots of speed boosters it's the same general kind of, I feel like explaining the game, explaining this game to most of you would almost be silly given that I'm sure almost all of you guys have played A's Mario Kart at some point in time in your life. But I'm going to have to do it anyways, <laughs> just in case there's someone out there that is not. So yes, there are power-ups that you can pick up. Uh, when you run over them, it's kind of, it's a little bit of a, uh, of a lotto system. You see it kind of flickering at the top. Let me grab one. If I can grab one here. There we go. Right there, top left corner, you can see it. You can tap the left bumper in order to activate it and then run into a wall because you're paying attention. These are the chili peppers. Uh, they will actually, I mean, I don't know if that's actually what they're called, but they, that's what they look like. Whoa. And if I hit it, I can get basically a boost, a burst of speed. And I am currently in first somehow. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if I grab another one for you guys. Uh, and for me, okay, here we go. These are the watermelons. You can shoot them. I hope you nail somebody, which I believe I did. There's also a homing style. Basically, the, what I just shot there with green shells. There is a red shell style thing. One thing that I thought was strange is you don't have the ability to uh, uh, shoot behind you. Yeah, some of, the sounds, some of the levels are a little bit weird. Uh, you don't have the ability to shoot behind you, which I thought was kind of weird. Now, now maybe I'm just doing it wrong. It's entirely possible, but I just thought that was kind of a strange thing. I should just be able to do it. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to go back. Now, that was with the 3D walls turned on. Great. We got it. We're gonna turn them off, and I'm not turning them back on for the rest of the game. So sorry. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's go ahead and actually go back, and we'll do uh, we'll do 150 CC Grand Prix, uh, so I can really uh, shine. <laughs> Just do terrible. Uh, so yeah, Super Cups up here. We go Advanced Cups in progress. Ultra Cups in progress. Extra Cups. Ultra Cups. I thought those were supposed to be out. Oh, that's okay. I don't believe this part is out. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, we'll go to Extra Cups. Uh, so let's see, da, 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 da. Electric Dreams, uh, Ring of Death, uh, there's a whole bunch of, there's a whole bunch of these here. So I actually thought Ring of Death was actually super interesting, and this is actually what makes me, uh, uh, inclined to, so, to, to suggest this as a purchase for, for all of you. Uh, Ring of Death showed me that, you know what, this is a, this is a kart racer where they're not afraid, the developer's not afraid to just try some weird shit. And that's great. Because every, fucking, what is this? Hollow Buddy shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's great because, you know, you play like all these other kart racers and they, they even though they're maybe kind of fun and kind of, you know, uh, uh, 
kind of jolly and whatever. Uh, it's still jolly. What the hell? Uh, it, they still feel like they, they, there's a little bit of uh, d d d design to it. Everything. Everything's got a little bit of purpose. Yeah. Every themed course is 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 not. Nothing's like this. Where it's just like, yeah, let's just go and make a circle with a bunch of jumps and put a bunch of uh, of of speed boosters around the inside lane so people can just haul ass around the entire thing as quickly as possible. And that's it. Like that's this this is some stuff that you just damn it would not see uh, in most most all other kart racers. Period. They just take themselves too seriously. That's all it is. There you go. There's a death can right there. Mm, gotta get that. Now I have all three, and I have to get more. I believe because it's the last lab. Get more coins. Coins have the same function as they do in uh, Mario Kart. Where I well, I don't know about the speed thing actually, but uh, they do uh, seem to deplete when you uh, when you take hits. Look at all my stuff, race winner, everything, bam, jewels. That's what it is, rupees, whatever. I don't know what I get for doing that. I've never actually gotten all three race things. You hear that like sound right there? That sounds also a little bit like too distorted. All right, we're in the next one here. Let's see. Now we'll, we'll go and play the regular tracks after this too, because the VR tracks are meant to be, you know, like a VR uh, training in, that's inside of other games, like Metal Gear Solid or something. Uh, kind of that same, like, look. Very stripped down, VR-esque. Okay, oh, 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 watch out for those totems. Oh, oh, that, man, that's a, yeah, I guess a heat-seeking watermelon? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'll fire all these things off, see if I get something else. Come on. I'm falling way behind. Oh, pepper time. Pepper time. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can take this turn so wide. <laughs> Come on. Okay, got to get my drift on. I have not mentioned the drift. So the drift has the same function as it does in most Mario Kart uh, titles, the later ones anyways, where you can drift and get a burst of a boost of speed. I'm trying to hit that guy at first there. Got him. That was skill. Come on, guys. You gotta give. You gotta give you that. And the way you do is you just basically just drift. And the longer you drift, the more boost speed you'll get. You'll see it. Oh god, I just fell behind. Damn. Threw that. Threw that pineapple grenade a little bit too. A little bit too late. It's fine. Second place. Now, if you want to go back just a couple seconds here, you'll see what it came down as at first place, second place, third place, whatever, is right above the leaderboard here before it went up. Uh, there's a couple examples where like pixel scaling is a bit weird, uh, where it's like, it doesn't quite, it's not the quite the same scaling rate as everything else on the screen. It's kind of strange. And, wait, and it stands out when it's text. When it's like in-game graphics, you don't really see it. Like when a character is moving farther away from the screen, you don't necessarily uh, notice that. It, it makes sense. They're farther away. There's, their pixels are going to get smaller, right? Uh, but when it's the text, it's a bit funky. So it's like little polished things like that that are, that are, uh, that kind of make it, give it that, that early access feel. That being said, though, if this guy's going to put out just big content updates, I'd much rather him spend time on that than hunting down every single little refinement thing. Maybe save that for the refinement phase of uh, of early access, of development. These guys are really, really actually pushing me here. I'm gonna throw another, another pushy pumpkin out. From what I can gather, that's exactly what they do. They basically just float, hang out in the area and they just push people around when they come through. Oh, make it. Good, good, good. Oh, I try to power drift that. Okay, second place. Let's see if we can fire this. Get that next guy. Nah, he's way too far. Where did I get him? No, no, yeah, there he is. There you go. Lots of speed. Lots of speed, baby. Pineapple grenade ready to go. Oh, let me see if actually if I can go ahead and look back and throw it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I was incorrect. It did not work with uh, the watermelons, though. Oh, jeez. Last lap? No, no, it's not. Didn't seem to work with the watermelons. Ooh. 
But I'll give it another shot though, just to see. I'd be, I'm totally fine with being wrong because looking backwards and shooting is, is awesome. <laughs> oh god, let me just zoom right into that thing. So you can see this is the flat this is the flat walls, right? Oh that guy got it. The flat walls instead of the 3D walls. I do prefer it more because it does it does feel like it reduces some of the clutter when you're going around. Dang, Danielle. It's just killing me. Yeah, any of those. Look at any of those race stars. The race stars, oh that's right, the race stars in the end actually end up determining your grade for the uh, for the event. You could still get first, second, third, right? But if, if you get graded as well. All right, let's see it. This is the last one, all right? Levels, man, volume, audio level, it's all over the place. Oof, that was bad. I'm trying to race for reals now, guys, so commentary's over. We're getting right into this. Oh, dang it. Hey, hey. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh, don't go too close to the things that make you sink. Nope. Ah, I'd like go way too late on that. Still maintaining my third place position though. I'm in third place, dude. This is all great. Fourth place. I was just gonna say, I'm in third place, man. These guys are like killing me here. But now I'm in second place, so. Ooh. Nice. Go me. And you know, if you've played, if you've played, if you're like me, where like, you, oh, where you basically really only put a lot of time in the original Super Mario Kart. Oh my God, unbelievable, unbelievable, man. I can't, I just can't do this. <laughs> so anyways, if you're someone like me, who has really only played the original Super Mario Kart and just periodically plays, plays others, you will just slip right into this. Like the game, the game does uh, it it does have that feel. They really nailed the overall feel. There's a little bit of like, in terms of like controls, you kind of feel the difference. Like it doesn't quite feel as responsive maybe, uh, but nothing that would prevent me from, you know, suggesting that people who play the original Super Mario Kart to come try this out. Right there, lap one, lap two, lap three, those times right there, that text is scaled off from everything else on the screen. It just looks funky to me. Why not just scale that up? Oh man, am I still? Yes, by two points. That's it. There we go. I'm turning it down. Those, those fireworks are too much. Oh, congratulations. First place. 150, baby. Here you go. This is where those race stars come in handy. I gotta be. I gotta be. Brilliant driving. Next rank A. No shit. <laughs> is that what comes after B? Oh man. All right. Now let's see. What else? Well, I can't show you Battle Arena, obviously. Uh, let's go. Oh yeah, let's go check out some other tracks. Let's go. Uh, let's go 150cc, and we'll do. Da -da 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 -do Duck Race. See what's in this one. Fortune Knight. Something Speedway. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's right here. Dang it. Okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> this is what I was looking for before. I went right over it. Let's play as his car. Power drive. Cat. Uh, uh, Knight Rider. Here we go. Yes, yeah, see. This is what I want to show you guys the first time. I couldn't, uh, for some reason, I looked right past it. I lower the volume just a little bit because those fireworks are just kind of getting out of hand. So who knows what other kind of weird sounds might be coming up. Maybe these levels will be a little bit better, actually. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Okay, wow. I, I, I blame not knowing the course on that. It's totally my fault, though. Whoa, spikes. This is nice. This is really nice. I'm afraid it... Use my boost here. Here we go. Whoa, man. Yeah, so the car doesn't... I don't... I don't mean... I don't really feel a difference playing the car versus anything else. Like, when you go from, like, Toad to Bowser... Like, you feel that, man. Like, you, that is very clear. There's a very clear difference in, uh, oh, Jesus. Get out of the green. Just hop the track. There's a very clear difference in gameplay and feel. Ah, 
Wow, that was a waste. Waste. Just throw them all away. Get something else. What do I got? Oh, good. Ooh, baby. Damn it. Oh my god, everybody's just flying by. Not getting any of my any of the stupid bonus things. I'm not getting anything. I'm somehow on first though, by the way. <laughs> no perks! Ugh. What the f what is the break? Hold on a s I can't see it. Dang it. I I guess swore I it's a B, but no, maybe it's not the B button. It's, I don't know the break, guys. <laughs> Oh, oops, I just went, oh, oh, that totem saved me. I'm still, I'm still in contention, though. Those guys are all right there. Come on, baby. Bam! Still pulled it off at the end. What's up? What the hell? What, what is the brakes, man? I can't go look without quitting. It's fine, it's fine. Yes, 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 I got all the good stuff. Race winner, I didn't get the shrooms, though. No shrooms. All right, cat. Green hue. Look at this. What the hell? That centipede thing. There you go. Star Mazer. DSP. Now this one I did do, uh, and it is a little bit tough because there are some turns where you don't have the support of a red wall to keep you in line. This is the. Uh, Oh my gosh, this is, this is, oh my, give me a, oh forgot what I was going to say. Oh my gosh. I have to make the jump. I am getting just schooled on this. I don't know where I was just a second ago. Dang it. Oh man. Yeah, you got to watch out for this. Thankfully, all the other characters are, are, are fucking up just the same. <laughs> so... Feels so bad. Oh, I, mean, so, mm, I keep on not jumping. There's a problem. Wow, I just went around the edge. Oh, by the way, they do. Speaking of just driving around the edge, uh, they do have a uh, auto accelerate mode. So I'm not entirely sure what you would use that for, to be honest. What would you use that for? My kid uses it. That seems like a weird reason to put put it in the game. He uses it on iOS uh, for Poppy Cart. This is the. Ugh. I'm just not. I, apparently, I'm just not good at making that jump. I'm there, it's not gonna happen. I just gotta work my way to the front and then just eat it. Just eat the eat the drop. What does ice cream do? Oh, put down a splat. The B button is the break. That's just super weak. Oh gosh, okay. Please, please let me get it on the truck. Yep, okay, good. Wow. <laughs> it's just the worst break in the world. Throw that out there. Dude. Push people around. Oh man, just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> uh, the thing is, it puts me past it, so I don't even get a chance to like sit there and actually do it. Like I can't even do, which is fine because I probably wouldn't have the speed in order to make it. Or, or there's a jump there. I'm just blind. I can't see it. So that's all it is. It's not necessarily late here right now, but I don't really have any excuse, guys. To be honest. Oh, they're just driving across it. What? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I have no idea. Go put an ice cream down right there, and then we drop off the edge. I'm third place though. Can I actually make it? What? <laughs> they must have all fallen. Oh my god! Wow. No. Wow. That's just a cluster. A super cluster, actually, if you will. All right. Let's see. Uh, two more races. No, no, keep going. Two more races. Let's do it. I'm excited to see what's coming up. 22 points, not doing too, not doing too hot. Ink. Oh, the road is not visible. Uh, <laughs> this is like a sick and twisted version of Rainbow Road. Oh my God. I believe 3D walls may have actually helped here. No, actually, no, they wouldn't. That would be kind of a silly thing, actually. I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, there's some, there are some that are showing. Yeah, there you go. Just follow the characters and just get thrown, thrown off to the side like that. It's cool. Let's see. It's sixth place. You know why? Because the AI is the freaking computer. 
It's a literally cheats. I'm not talking to you, Siri, or whatever your name is. Cancel. Sorry. <laughs> She's be mad. <laughs> She's still listening. Sorry, I'm not sure. I'm not talking to you right now. <laughs> she just like stops. She just turns off. <laughs> oh man. Please, God, God, so I got two people. Got two people. We're good. Oh God, I'm just gonna get hit by a homing watermelon. <laughs> sure. I might still somehow pull this off, dudes. I might actually pull this off. If I pull this off, I mean like not get last. Like as I should be. As somebody who can't actually see the course because I'm not a computer. <laughs> I mean thankfully there's coins. The coins actually help quite a bit. Lap three. To zoom right into that. Maybe zoom out of it. There you go. Oh, this is rough. This is super rough. This is not the last one. There's one more race after this. No. Oh, okay, that's a wall. <laughs> I mean, honestly, though, what a cool concept. You know, as we go through, we're, we're laying down new ink or whatever, so the map is a little bit more visible. By the time you get to the last lap, now you can basically see a, a solid chunk of it. Like, this is actually a super cool concept. And, you know, this goes back to what I was saying earlier about how... They could do this. You imagine, do, imagine doing this like on a game that like, uh, like back in the day, like this would be way too hard. People would be like, "What is this game? Is this stupid? <laughs> I can't figure this out." No, no, not sure that wouldn't happen at all. Uh, <laughs> third place. Damn it! My last lap was sick. You know why? Because I could see the course. Didn't even have to think. Just gonna draw right through it. Man, I'm just getting my butt freaking kicked here. But yeah, what a cool concept. They, they, could, they could just do whatever they want. All right, last race. This is it. Nightmare Tower. I don't know when to push the button to get the boost. I mean, I'm just doing it wrong, though. Rip. Oh, oh, that is the drink. Don't get in that. Nacho cheese stuff. No, no, baby. Yep, that. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, it was a coconut! It was a seeking coconut! I didn't just I just saw a break open right there. Good. Now we're all now all of our information is sound. Okay. I gotta start using that not a break button. I'm not I'm not boosting that much because I'm afraid. I'm gonna get there we go. Let's throw this off. There we go. Yeah. First place. First place. Cause I'm afraid, straight up. I'm afraid I'm gonna throw myself into the pit. Ooh, squeeze by. Oh, I can't buy a coconut and I think a... Okay, well, it's some nacho cheese. This is a nightmare tower if you're lactose intolerant is what it is. No! Boost away! Ah, <laughs> the damn Drake! Come on, man, I gotta at least place! Oh, man, that's my fault. That was a waste. Take risks. Oh, there's a shortcut over there. I just saw it. Second place, second place. Last lap. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. No, don't you dare. Not the last turn. Don't you. Come on, I just gotta get. Second place is good, I think. Depends on who got in first. Oh, man. Ugh. It's getting slammed here. Wow, by six seconds. By six seconds. He deserves the win there. He deserves the win. That puts me in second place. Oh, I, I could have just not placed this. Oh, gosh, you got second place. No, no, that's a lie. Well, actually, wait, yeah, it was like 10, 12 points ahead, wasn't it? Whatever. All right, there it is. Oh, second place. Rawr. How'd I do? How'd I do? A D. Damn. <laughs> this is good driving. Next rank C. No. Oh, wow. Really? For real? Wow. Dang. Oh, all right. So that's it. That is Super Indie Carts. Currently on Steam for $9.99. Online multiplayer is coming. Local multiplayer is currently in split, vertical, and horizontal. Only two players as far as I know. 
Uh, and I say that because I only had two controllers around to test it. And also everything in the in the uh, in the shop only or in the uh, forums only indicated that it supported uh, supported that many people. So um, yeah, it is it is actually like a pretty solid Carter, man. And I just did not know about it. And I blame you guys. But also, I mean, I guess I can't really blame you guys. Yeah, I can. I can blame you guys. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna end this. You're, it's your guys' fault. But I'm very happy that I found it now, so you guys are forgiven. I'm feeling generous. So that's it. Super Indie Carts, 9.99 on Steam. My name is Mike B. This is Indie for Breakfast. See ya.